All right, we've got the Gold Cup semifinals match between U.S. Men's Soccer and Cutter. That's tonight at Q2 Stadium. Here this morning to talk about the matchup, Fox Sports' is John Strong, who will be on the call tonight. John, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Dave. Good to be here in Austin. Great to have you. I uh, hope you enjoy the stay here and uh, the big match coming up tonight. Of course, the U.S. team coming off a big win Sunday to get to this position. Yeah, this is a great opportunity right now. You know, this is the, the Gold Cup is our championship. If you watched the Euros last month at the Copa America, those are the championships in the other regions of the world. This is our championship, and it's an important title for the U.S. men's team to win. You know, you think about the U.S. women's team, they're known as winners. They're known as champions. This U.S. men's team is trying to rebuild their reputation. Greg Berhalter, the coach, has talked about changing the perception uh, that U.S. men's soccer has. And so that's the opportunity that these young men, and it is a very young team, have tonight against Qatar, reigning champions of Asia. And if they can win a potential final against their great rivals, Mexico, Sunday night in Las Vegas. Yeah, well, tell us a little bit more about Qatar, about the opponent they'll be uh, taking on tonight here in Austin. Yeah, you know, this is really interesting. They're an invited guest team. They are hosting the World Cup next year. This is absolutely a game we could be seeing on Fox next November at the World Cup, and they're sort of on a global barnstorming tour to get experience. It's their first ever World Cup. They won the Asian Cup two years ago. They've scored more goals than any other team at this tournament. They've also allowed more goals than the other three remaining teams combined. So this has all the makings of a very high-scoring, up-and-down game, and it's a wonderful test because it's an opponent the United States has never played before, and it's the first time they're going to be seeing these players who have become big stars in the Middle East on the same field against them. Kind of cool. You talk about the U.S. team being such a young, up-and-coming team. Maybe some, uh, some players we'll be seeing for a while here. At this new venue here in Austin that so many in the city are so proud of, a city that's gotten so excited uh, for the sport, that's got to be exciting to these uh, national players when they play in venues around the country where the sport itself is growing in popularity. And listen, it's incredible for me. You know, I was here in 2009 and 2010, the old Austin Aztecs. I was a Portland Timbers radio broadcaster. We came down here to call games, and it was a scattering of fans at a high school football stadium. So to see <laughs> Q2 Stadium yesterday, the incredible support for Austin FC, uh, the fact that uh, we saw the U.S. women's team here last month in a sellout crowd, big crowd tonight. The U.S. men are coming back in October for a World Cup qualifier. Austin has really put itself on the map of American soccer in a way that Cincinnati and Nashville and other towns that we didn't really think about uh, with soccer in past years. It's really, really exciting. And so I know the players and the coaches and certainly people like me are incredibly excited for what the atmosphere is going to be tonight. And that, uh, you know, we make Austin a, a regular part of our tour of American soccer now. Yeah, and, and seeing support in towns like Austin, that's just it's bound to pay dividends for I would think for these men's and women's national teams. Absolutely. I mean, listen, we have teenagers on this U.S. men's team, guys that grew up watching games like this in their hometown. They've been ball boys. They've been fans on television. So there's very much uh, the possibility there's going to be a young kid sitting in the crowd of the game tonight who's going to come up through Austin FC's academy and is going to become a professional player for Austin FC, maybe for the national team down the road. And, and that's an important thing. It's great to watch soccer on television, but to be able to reach out and have a personal connection with the sport to be able to see the U.S. men's team uh, in your own town in a game like this, in a big game, in a semifinal, uh, is special. And it's something that uh, we're looking forward to tonight. Very cool. All right, John Strong, we hope you enjoy your day in Austin uh, in advance of the big match tonight with Qatar. Once again, you can watch that at 6 o'clock here, John, on the call on FS1. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Cool.